Okay, another nature video, partly anyway. I'll throw some images of my past life, um, you know, in the end. Uh, isn't that much nature this week, sorry. So anyway, this is one of these spiders, a lot of them this year, that create these really wide webs, you know, and you walk into them all the time on pathways because they're in the way. But it's really a bizarre spider. Very nice web they create when they really try hard. Sometimes the webs are really sloppy, but when they really try hard and make one of these round ones, it's really nice. Um, all right, this, these, uh, they're doing some work on the stream, you know, because of this bank erosion. And it's not really eroding much, so it's kind of silly in a way. But they have these cages that they'll put rocks in. But this was the interesting part. So you see this big backhoe here? Now this big backhoe, it's like a symbiotic relationship. See that? It, it, it moved the dirt and, and loosened it up so the little backhoe could pick it up. You see that? So it's like a symbiotic relationship. So, you know, um, theoretically, it's, you know, you have to say that uh, I can't really see the selfish um, reason there. Um, you know, the genetics might be in the, 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 the dump truck. I don't know where the DNA is exactly for these animals, uh, but uh, that did seem like an altruistic move. So this is these these big drain pipes here, so uh, storm water. When I was a kid, we used to go up that pipe, and it was kind of nice. And the really hot days would be really cool in there, um, but it was a little spooky because you didn't know whether you'd run into a dead cat or something, and you know, so it was a little scary. Um, you know, an earthquake would scare the hell out of you too inside a pipe. So this this is one of these black. Um, swallowtail butterflies. They're usually it's the same species, I guess, but they they come in two varieties. One is this black, and then the other one's those ones you see all the time with the yellows. And, um, you know, the, the swallowtails, little ends always get bitten off by birds and stuff. They get pretty beat up over time by praying mantises and birds and other predators, and they can really be hacked up. That was a black dahlia. I mean, the leaves are black. The flower was obviously not black. Um, so it wasn't that interesting, but that's, you know, nature. Not much this week. So anyway, this is a little bit up closer. You can almost see it if you look for it. Um, it's that uh, hawk's moth. So there's a picture of it. Uh, you know, you can get a little better image of it. I should have probably froze the image, but I didn't uh, have enough brains to do that. Um, so this is uh, the cat. And it's just kind of a funny, it looks like a sea otter. It was just kind of lounging in the pack of Sandra there and, and uh, kind of comfortable and nice. and. It's, you know, it's a nice cat picture. All right, this is, this is me when I was a kid. I guess I was about four or five here. A little cranky on this day. I had to wear a suit. Didn't care for clothes much. Um, so, yeah, that's me. Yeah. So, this is me again. This I remember this picture when it was taken, actually. I remember my sneakers. I remember that cinder block. I remember the lake. I remember everything about it. I really hated swimming. I was really contemplating how much life sucks at this very moment when I was sitting there. Because it was just like... The water's cold, and it's got big sturgeons in it, and and I really was contemplative. Just as this picture suggests, I was as con I was contemplative at this moment in my life. And uh, obviously, I was not participating. They used to throw me in the water all the time. We'd go to some place, and they'd just throw me in the water eventually. I used to go to the lake in my raincoat. That's how much I didn't really like lakes and s oceans and all that shit, but I, I grew out of it. Uh, this picture, I'm about 12 here, I guess, and they just pulled out my fangs. I don't have any pictures with my fangs, you know, my K9 teeth, and so they're pulled out. And uh, this is my car, uh, first car that was newish that I bought, 1976 Grand Prix, and it's the best car ever built, in my opinion. And so that's it, that's the end of the video. Sorry, it really wasn't much, but uh, do better next week. Go on an adventure.